Do people understand how batteries work? I, I don't think so. My name is uh, Victor Wancha. I've been here with the company for 25 years now, looking at new directions that we want to go with simulation technologies. And the latest one is uh, battery, thermal, electrochemistry, swelling, coupled behavior. It's a massive effort by many, many researchers, uh, very clever people that are trying to push the limits. And it's only a matter of a few years, uh, I would think, where this, uh, this next push comes along. We have this electrodes, one is called the anode, the other one is called the cathode. In the middle, typically, there's a piece that's a electric insulator that allows for certain ions to go through, but not for electrons to avoid short circuit. But the idea is that if you can imagine a battery in a schematic type sense, it's like a tennis match. Uh, when you see the ball, tennis ball going from left to right, from right to left, that's what lithium ions do in lithium ion batteries in a charging and discharging type process, obviously at the much sort of slowest case. So when you do a battery, a very important aspect um, in, in, in batteries is, is the so-called life or um, the ability to charge, discharge a battery over many cycles, hundreds at least, if not thousands. We can speed up that kind of a prediction via simulation. You can reduce experiments that could last six to nine months to, uh, you know, um, a day worth of simulation, helping with, uh, with accelerating uh, design and assessing the viability of certain, uh, or certain, um, certain choices as far as uh, construction, cell construction is concerned. If we can come up with models that are very predicted the way, uh, that way would be a gigantic gain in terms of accelerating the timeline of a of a development of a product batteries is probably it's not probably it is the most fascinating multi-physics multi-scale uh, yeah it's a little bit of a geeky phrase multi-physics multi-scale uh, but it's a uh, uh, it's impressive how many things you need to account in the same time in order to be predictive uh, for something that's seemingly that big uh, so uh, and otherwise does not move it doesn't rattle it doesn't blink uh, uh, it's an extremely complex, complex product uh, where uh, multiple physics and multiple scales from atomistic to uh, tens of millimeters, if not more, uh, uh, play together in a very, very, very complex sense. Fascinating topic.